It's me life. What is the truth about you and Derek? I mean, I've seen you together mm -hmm. in Los Angeles. Thought, a pretty hot couple. I do. <laughs> I, I like him a lot. So do I. He's smart, intelligent, you know, good looking, well dressed. Yeah. Great dancer. About your height? I'll tell you, um, I'll tell you uh, the one thing that's come from everything I've experienced in the past up to now is that this is the last time I will ever talk about my private, personal life. This is it. This is the last time. I'm not willing to sit here and say, um, he's my boyfriend, he's not my boyfriend. I'm not prepared to deny, admit anything. And I, and I don't have to. People are going to speculate on what I do and what's going on in my life regardless to what I say. So they can, we're very, very close. That's obvious. People can speculate what the hell they like. Did you always want to be a star? I wouldn't say, uh, it depends what, um, an entertainer. It's in me blood. You were a little show off really, weren't you? Oh, complete show off. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was, I was one of five. Um, Where do you come in the four. So it was, it was always kind of my way of saying, I'm here, showbiz, jazz hands, hi. <laughs> hi, guys. <laughs> and me, you know, me brothers and sisters were always like, um, dance for me friends or go and run and do and jump into the splits and I would do it. <laughs> and I was like, I was the, you know, the show off and I think I found really early on that entertaining people was really fun. And did you like that feeling of being able to make people laugh and yeah, applaud you? And... Yeah, um, First of all, I was really um, energetic. So I loved the feeling it gave me dancing as well. But to see somebody enjoying it, that's a great feeling. And I think I discovered that really, really early on. Did it make you ambitious? Were you hungry for fame and success? Success. Everyone says that. Don't you really want your young want to be famous? No, I never really. Famous. Fame for me actually is defined by success. I wouldn't just want to be known, a known person. If fame is, is you're known for something you're successful at, and I just, I love the feeling of self-achievement. So pushing yourself to the limit and feeling that feeling of achievement. Like when I bought my first car, I remember getting in it and thinking, wow. How much was it? I'll keep that to myself. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realise you'd attended the Royal Ballet School yeah. when you were like nine years old. But you left quite quickly. What, what happened there? I actually went to audition for it. There you are. Oh. <laughs> um, I actually remember that day. Like so even yesterday. then, that is a showbiz grin. I'm sorry. It is. <laughs> no, I went to audition for it, and we couldn't afford the scholarship to go. Actually, really ironically, the Daily Star paid for me to go. Really? Yeah. So without the tabloid press, you'd be nowhere, would you? This is actually... <laughs> Very true. <laughs> no, it is true. At uh, the Royal Ballet School, were they a bit snooty to you? This was the first time I ever felt class. Mm. Because I never, I never knew anything different. You go to somewhere like that, and there's a lot of wealth and a lot of higher class than you. And privileged. 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 Did you feel a bit of an outsider? Complete outsider. Completely. But did you also feel that you were as good as them, that you weren't getting a fair crack of the whip? It kind of, it's almost like it overshadowed how I felt about dance, because I felt so out of place. So when I was dancing, yeah, you know, it felt great, but it made us realise, actually, I don't want to be amongst this. See, part of your appeal, I'd, I'd say, is your ordinariness in many ways. Did you see That's how I was raised. That's what I was told to, 
today I went to be like and that's how I am. Did you have many fights? Couple. Yeah. Normally win? I give it a, my best shot. <laughs> <laughs> how many times have you actually like first set eyes on Ashley? I met him a few times. We lived in the same complex. I knew he played football and that was about it and it, it, he was really shy. Painfully shy, that's all I knew. Didn't know, he wasn't one of those people that let you know his character straight away. So when was the first time you actually spoke to him? Uh, it mustn't have been that memorable. Well it was for him, because apparently his first words to you were, hey hot lips, nice bum. <laughs> You've got a point. <laughs> <laughs> And that was the thing, because you lived in the same area, you lived in the same block, didn't you, sort of? Yeah, we lived in the same, the same area, the same block. You can't remember the first time you talked to him? Not the first time I talked to him, I remember that incident. What was your reaction to, hey, hot lips, nice bum? I, I piss off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, I, I don't like stuff like that. Did you think he was a bit flash? Typical kind of footballer with that kind of chat? Not really. I, I didn't. Uh, I just thought, oh, get me out of this road quick. It's really embarrassing when there's a group of. of I think I was dragging a Hoover. <laughs> I was dragging a Hoover from Kimberley's to ours. So I think I just thought, get me out of this road quick. <laughs> when was the first date? I mean, how did he go about this given this poor start? I really should know this. We just got to know. You start going out, and then it gets out, goes public, and it's like a bomb's gone off. It's like the ultimate tabloid love fest. Hot pop star, hot England soccer star, boom. What's it like to be in the middle of that when it goes off? I've never actually thought about that. You just, it's your relationship. You're going from these secret assignations that nobody yeah. knows about, when it's all sweet well, and nice. Well, we knew as soon as we were seen in public, uh, people were going to know, and that's a conscious decision that we made. Once we said, OK, do you, we want this relationship to work, then you can't sit in a flat for the rest of your life. We first. just wanted to go out like any other normal couple, yeah. like you do when you start dating. And I think we went to a nightclub. I, it was after an award ceremony for me, so I just met him then and I left and somebody saw us in there, it wasn't the end of the world, I'm not, we're not doing anything wrong, we loved each other. It's a single woman, single guy. So what? And were you in love with him by then? Probably thought I was, yeah. He'd already declared his love for you by then. Had he? Well, you know more than I do. I know, I know a lot. <laughs> I wrote most of it. <laughs> And that's where the problem lies. <laughs> <laughs> he, he